Police stormed Mexico's embassy to arrest Ecuador's former vice president. The raid came hours after Mexico announced it would grant Jorge Glass political asylum and urged Ecuador to offer him safe passage to leave the country. How can these criminals raid the Mexican embassy in Ecuador? It's not possible. It can't be. It's madness. Yes, they've arrested a former vice president. I'm very worried because he can be killed. Ecuador's former vice president had been evading arrest and staying in Mexico's embassy since December. He was arguably his country's most wanted felon. Convicted twice for corruption, the 54-year-old was suspended from his duties in 2017 after being charged for allegedly receiving millions of dollars in bribes. More accusations are being investigated. For many Ecuadorians, it felt like, like a, a mockery of justice the, the, that he was uh, uh, granted uh, asylum in the, in the embassy. Uh, I mean, Glass and Lopez Obrador are uh, political uh, allies. There, there's an ideological uh, connection there, and, and a lot of Ecuadorians felt that this was this was a way of, of mocking us. Glass has repeatedly said he's a victim of political persecution. President Andrés Manuel López Obrador has suspended diplomatic ties with Ecuador. Mexican diplomatic personnel in Ecuador will leave the country immediately and Mexico will appeal to the International Court of Justice to hold Ecuador accountable for violations of international law. Ties between Mexico and Ecuador were under strain well before the arrest. Now they've reached a new low in a case that's ignited an international political crisis. Katia lopez Odayan, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.